Hello friends, welcome to Programming Knowledge. In this video, we will see how we can install React Native on Windows or Mac machine. So there are some prerequisites that uh, you need to download in order to run React Native on your computer. So the first dependency is the Node.js. You have to install Node.js on your computer. So search Node.js on your browser and you will find this website. If you are using Windows machine, then you can install Windows installer. Or if you are using Mac OS, then you can use Mac OS installer. You can also download it for the Linux. So let me download the Mac OS because I'm running it on a MacBook. Okay, so once it is downloaded, you can open the package. Click on the continue. Continue. Agree install enter password for your machine so it says the package has installed so now if you want to check whether Node.js is successfully installed on your machine or not. You can check it via terminal or the command line if you are using Windows machine. Just type node hyphen v for version. And here you can see we are running the version 14 of Node.js. Now the second thing that you need to install is the Android Studio. Uh, we will be developing apps for Android and iOS and we want to preview or test those apps on the emulator. You can also use your physical device. So for that reason we need to download Android Studio. Just search Android Studio and you will find this website. Click on the download Android Studio. I'm using MacBook, that's why it's saying download Android Studio for Mac. So download the Android Studio. I have already downloaded and installed it. So I will not download it again. Okay, so once you download the Android Studio, you need to install all the SDKs necessary to run the React Native. Now, if you are using a Mac machine, then you can also download the Xcode. For that, you need to open App Store. Search for the Xcode. And then you can find Xcode. Then you need to install it. So if you are using Mac machine, then you can test or preview your app on iOS simulator also. Xcode is only available on Mac. It's not available for Windows. okay so once you install both then search react native you can find the official website for the react native so there are basically two ways in which you can develop apps in react native the first is expo cli and the second one is react native cli expo cli is basically uh provide you with all the necessary uh, packages and functionalities that you find on both the platform android and ios but if you want to target the native apis which you can found only in either platforms either on android or ios then you cannot target that uh, you can only target the apis or the functionalities that supported by both the platforms so in this case you can use expo cli but if you also want to target those native APIs, then you need to 
you go for the react native cli which allows you to download native allow you to write native code also so we will be using expo cli for our project that in throughout the videos just write npm install hyphen g expo cli on your terminal or command prompt if you are using windows machine it will take some time Okay, so React Native Expo CLI is successfully installed on our computer. So let us create our first project. Just copy this command. Expo in it and write the name of the project that you want. I'll write first react native okay so you will see several options blank so you will ha have nothing in your project just only the dependency and javascript so and if you want to develop apps in typescript then you can go for the second option and if you want the tabs navigation then you can go for the third option we will go for the blank now it will install all the dependencies that you need to develop the react native app okay so our project is successfully created now you can open this project in any editor you want we will be using microsoft visual studio code so just locate your project and open it so let me just open the project that we have just created okay so let me just open it
okay so here's our project you can see several file structure in here this is the main file app.js whenever you open your app the first screen that you will see is written in this file app.js there is one text that uh, you can see open up app.js to start working on your app and we will be creating different components and use them here so that's it for this video thanks for watching it